very astonished and I think it's a perfect sustain your bus rapid transport system. <laughs> I think, I wish that we can have something also in Germany, at our home. And another thing, people in Gujarat and in Ahmedabad are very disciplined, this was my impression. And so let me say, just one sentence, I believe, I think, Gujarat is the Switzerland of India <laughs> and Switzerland of Asia. When you came? We Friday, last Friday. Friday yeah, yeah. So you must have visited so many places? So we went to a dedicated road. In Gujarat, one very good event is going to start, but I don't think you have a time or not. It's an eight, nine hour journey. The, the border of Gujarat and the Gujarat and Pakistan border, we have a desert. Run of Kutch. There we are only a state where we have a white run, white desert. And there we are organizing a full moon night desert festival. It's a, it's a unique festival. Mm -hmm. Well, I do not know whether you have a time or not. Uh, I don't this time, but there, it's every year we do yeah, this. You can organize it. Every, every year. year. Every year. Uh, Indians in here in India and as well in Germany told us that. Uh, I hope that you will win the elections next year. <laughs> and my question is, um, first, um, what's the main challenge for India in the coming years? And what will you do, or what will be the top priority of your policy? Policy paralysis. It's our federal government in such a shape, they are not taking an initiative don't take any decision. And because of this reason, we are facing a lot of problems. You see, we have 20,000 megawatt power projects which are locked nowadays. The reason, they don't have a fuel. And because of the reason, we are facing an energy shortage. Because of energy shortage, the industries are closed. Industries are closed because of the, because of the reason, unemployment is there, and that's why the whole growth story has got down. So it will be ahead. Of. The whole world is looking at India. 21st century is of Asia century. People used to say, if we need Asia century, there, then who will lead, whether China or India? We have a two extra benefits. One, we are a democratic country. Yes. The whole globe has a faith in democracy. Another thing, we are a young in the world. Our 65% population is below 35. So we are the youngest in the world. So we have a demographic dividend. These are two things. If we can uh, focus on these two areas, I'm sure that uh, we'll achieve so many things within five years. Yeah. Okay, next question. Um, how can we further improve our relations between India and Germany? Germany has taken a very good in a initiative in a renewable energy, rooftop, solar system. Gujarat is a state we are leading in solar energy in India, in Asia even. We have a very huge solar park. I want to convert this Gandhinagar, our state capital, into a solar city. And Germany can do a lot of things with Gujarat. Okay, you are leading in that area. The second thing is, we do believe in a holistic healthcare, but Germany is also believe in a holistic healthcare. The homeopathy medicine, Germany is a founder. But Ayurveda, we are founder. In Gujarat, we have a Ayurveda University, which promotes the holistic healthcare, the herbal medicines and all. Nowadays, there are so many colleges in Germany, they are working with our Ayurveda University, and how to promote the herbal medicine 
in Germany. We do, we are trying our level best how to promote homeopathy in India. So you can see, we both can help each other. The another thing is, you have a very specialty in uh, organizing the global events. You are master in the event management. The global events are there in Germany all the time. People are coming exhibition, exhibitions, chemical exhibition, car exhibition, going on. We are a population of 125 crore people, the huge population. If we can develop this type of thing here, there is a huge opportunity for this type of events. So this type of institutions, those who are organizing these events in Germany, they can come to India, they can organize, permanent they can organize here, and I'm sure that you can get a huge market here in India, huge market. How to take the, uh, this forward? I'm sure that people like you can think about it. That you are a very hardworking person, and um, we want to learn some uh, experience from you. And my question is, how do you actually manage your daily life? When you are very clear in your mind, when you know that what type of responsibility you have, how to fulfill this responsibility, how to achieve that goal, what are the ways and means, then time will follow you. Body will adjust it. In my case, by working hour, average I can say it is more than 14 hours, average, and sometimes it is more than 18. I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm a, uh, dedicated for the yoga activity. I, I, for one hour I uh, daily spare my time for my yoga activity. Then I start my work. I'm very uh, organized person. I can't do anything unorganized way. <laughs> very, I, 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 habitually, I, I think even in a very organized way. It helps me a lot. At, at one time, I can do 10, 15 activities. Uh, that's, that's God gift at the same time. I have developed myself into work in this way. I travel a lot. I meet the people. Since last, 45 years, <coughs> I'm a non-stop traveler <laughs> since last 45 years. And because of the reason, I know the pulse of the people, I know the ground reality. And so my decision-making process is very fast. I do not require to spend a lot of time to understand the uh, things. And because of this reason, I don't feel any burden in my work. I'm always relaxed. I'm easily available to you. With you. I can talk with you. With the, uh, I don't have any issue. I will not uh, even. I will not get even a single phone call. I'm available. Uh, the time I've given to you, it is absolutely. Uh, this time is for you. This is my uh, working style. Is your intention or motivation to become a politician? Actually, politician. <laughs> and I never thought that I will be a politician. I never thought. My family background is very, I, I belong to a very poor family. And in my family, in class, so many generations, no one was there in politics. Even in today, my brother or sister, no one is there in politics. I'm only exceptional case. Actually, I wanted to do something for the society. So at the age of 17, I left my family. And then after I never go back, went back to my family. For 30 years, I was working for the cause of the poor people. I was dedicated to the constructive activity for their well-being. But in, the, in uh, 2000, uh, no, in 1989, Few of my friends, they told me that 
you are a good orator, you have a time, why don't you do something for the, in the political field? Why don't you do the organizational activity? Because of this friend's pressure, I said, okay, I'll do some organizational activity. And I was totally dedicated for the organizational activity. I, was not, I never run for the election. Even in the school, I never run for the school uh, elections. <laughs> so I, I was not interested at all. In 2001, we had an earthquake in Gujarat. And it was a massive earthquake. And the government was in a trouble. In this situation, suddenly I was told to take this responsibility. And that's why I'm in the office. Otherwise, by temperamentally, I'm not a politician. About being in society. Actually, actually, what Gandhi said even in those times. They say it is also relevant today. Like Mandir, today is the whole humanity is facing a problem of the global warming. Environment issues are there. Gandhi's philosophy is a perfect solution to the global warming. Perfect solution for the environmental issues. He was uh, living in the bank of the river Sabarmati. He was there in 2025, 90 years back. At that time, this river was a full of water. And there was no shortage of the water at all. The population was also very less. And it was like a huge forest and that Mahatma Gandhi was staying there. His buildings were not there. Even at that time, if someone was giving him a water, he was always asking, don't give a full glass of water. Give a half glass of water. If I require more, I'll ask for the water. At that time, he was so conscious, don't waste water. The river was there. He was living on the bank of the river. But he never allowed to do that. So he was very conscious about the natural resources. And he was always talking about this nature, save the natural resources. These things are today more relevant, more relevant. Then we are facing the problem of terrorism. The whole world is facing the problem of terrorism. Gandhi was answer to it. He was talking about the non-violence, the peace. So to, even today, even after his assassination, after so many years, each and every word is relevant to the, and not only for the India, but for the whole human society. And I'm sure that if you can have a time, uh, the Gandhi film, which was uh, <coughs> directed uh, Mr. Etan Baro. David yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this we had also in Germany. Yeah. 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 I've seen it several yeah. times. Yeah. I think it's, some it's, of it's, it's, if, if the students can see this Gandhi film, you can have an idea how that man was. And no one, no one can believe that in this uh, era, can this type of man on the earth is possible? One more question. India in the year 2020. Actually, my focus is not to go in Five years. Gandhi will be 150 years. So my focus is <coughs> when Gandhi will be 150 years birth anniversary. So we must plan for these five years. The second <coughs> thing is after eight years, India will be 75. Our independence was 1947. So after eight, nine years, we will be 75. So we must focus that when Indian independence will be 75, we should have a goal what to achieve. And Gandhi 150, what we should dedicate to the, in the name of Gandhi to the human society in the country. So this should be the most 
inspiring occasions are there. The motivational uh, period is there. So this is one thing which is there in my mind, not 2020. 2020 is easy, easy to say. But for us, this is the inspiration. So we want to focus on this. In, in, in India, the 75 is a very important time frame. In, in, in our philosophy, it's called say, Amruta Parva, which never die. Amrutam, which never die. So this is the basic philosophy in our uh, mythology. So we want to celebrate everything. And for that, what should be our rules? Can we, can, can we take up the cleanliness project? The whole, even in the rural area, our priority, the Gandhi was dedicated to the cleanliness. Indian society, they are very much conscious about the personal hygiene, but they have not disciplined in the social hygiene. You must have yeah. failed this and you must have a complaint also. So we want to do a balance in these two things. We have a dividend of this, our young we have to focus on the skill development. The whole globe is in need of a millions of million teachers. The world does not have a good teachers. We have a young generation. Basically, Indian community has a special type of talent. At, at one time, they can, they can take care of 10, 15 subjects. You must have experience with Mr. Dinesh. So how, how can he do things, how can he talk? So why we not send millions of million teachers we can export to the world? World nurses are not available. We have a young generation. We can train the nurses, we can export them, and they can do the good service to the society. So we have a demographic dividend. Can this dividend be useful to the whole human society in the world? Do we focus on it? India is an agriculture country. We are, we are a nation of the so small, small rural areas. Agriculture is our basic thing. India is capable enough to feed all of the Europe. But today we are not good at all. Can we increase our productivity? And we can do this. In the next 20, 25 years, there will be a boom in the tourism sector. There is a scope for the three trillion dollar business is there in the tourism sector. India has lot, lot to give to the world. You, you have seen it. Everywhere you will see the heritage. So many things you will see. Throughout this country, you will find something new, and we have to. So there is a huge potential for the service sector, particularly tourism. These are the areas where we are going to focus. Eight, uh, I think. Uh, one I have request. We have a Mahatma Mandir here. We have in Gandhi Nagar, yeah. some three kilometers away from here. They are very good Gandhi Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Oliver Schuster. I'm a master's student at Hof University. How is your experience of Gujarat? Uh, I'm quite impressed. It's actually, I've been, I've been to Cairo before and I was expecting something similar to Cairo. And uh, yeah, when we arrived in Gujarat, everything was different. Every was, everything was different from what I expected. Um, Gujarat is quite clean. Gujarat is nice, it's not that loud. And yeah, we're really having a really good time here, so. Especially what do you find different in Gujarat from other states or the places you have visited so far? Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's a very, very interesting um, community in Gujarat. Like the people are all very nice. Uh, depending, like, it, no, it doesn't depend whether the tuk-tuk driver or the people like standing in the, on the side of the street or people in the shops, they're all very, very nice and kind. And uh, that's something I haven't experienced before in my life. Uh, yeah, I can say I hope uh, he becomes the new president because I think he's like he got a special aura and I think uh, Yeah, he might be the right man for this country
How do you evaluate your entire crew to be crowded? Um, yeah, it's unfortunately it's way too short. Like we would have needed a couple more weeks to explore everything in Gujarat. So um, yeah, I hope to have the possibility to come back again soon. My name is Martin. I'm studying at Hof University, International Management, and we're staying a week here in Gujarat with our professors to explore the country and to see enterprises and Indian universities. Uh, how is your experience of Gujarat so far? As I've already stayed half a year in Karnataka in Bengaluru, I can compare that it is, I have to admit, it is more developed than Karnataka. Um, in terms of infrastructure, we didn't have any uh, problems with power and also the, ro the roads and the streets are better developed, less potholes and I think your president or the chief minister has done a very good job when it comes to infrastructure and this might be a major stimulus to improve the economy all over the country as well. Of course, the culture is very different. We, as we already know, it's, uh, the, the whole country of India is like the continent of Europe. It's so much diversity, but it's really impressive to me that they manage to form one whole country and to work on a common, on a common object, objective to become one of the leader, leadership leaders nations, leading nations uh, all over Asia and to really participate in developing the world and the continent. What is your feeling after meeting the Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat, Shri Narendra Modi? He's a very smart, humble guy and I think that's how, that's one of the core issues of leadership. You have to focus and not to, yeah, not to do, not to confuse all the things. He has some certain points he wants to accomplish and I think yeah, he might be the right man as he also refers to um, ever time or he refers to aspects when he mentioned the Gandhi's um, uh, can I rephrase this? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, what I th um <laughs> okay mm. Uh, Mr. Moody, I think, is... Uh Lena Puchter, and I'm studying international management at Hof University in Germany. How is your experience of Gujarat so far? So far, it has been a great experience for me. It's my first time to yeah, Asia and India. And, um, yes, it has been very impressive um, how the culture is different, uh, different to the yeah, German culture. And it's... yeah quite impressive to, um, to experience all the differences in infrastructure, education, but um, as we visited um, IIM, IIM and um, Nirma University yesterday, it, um, it's really great to see how the education system um, develops here in India and it's, yeah, this um, shows also the future competitiveness of the Indian um, society. What do you find especially different in Gujarat from the other parts of the country or the states you have visited so far? Um, so far, since I've ne never been to India, it's um, difficult to, um, to answer this question, but um, compared to yeah, Western countries I've visited so far, for instance, the United States, it's yeah, really different, and um, especially um, with regard to infrastructure and um, yeah, the healthcare system, there are, yeah, huge differences, um, yeah. What's your feeling after meeting Chief Minister of Gujarat, Shri Narendra Modi? Um, it's, um, it has been, yeah, a great experience and I'm very impressed um, and I'm sure that he will be um, the next Prime Minister in India, um, especially his vision uh, for the next years and, um, yes, his, um, efforts he will um, undertake to um, improve the infrastructure healthcare system um, as well as the education system um, will help um, Gujarat um, and 
yeah, entire India to further improve and yeah, compete with other countries in India and as well as the entire world. Would you like to associate with Gujarat in future? If so, particularly in which sector? Um, I guess um, I would, um, yeah. Like travel or education or work or whatever. Okay, um, I guess um, I would maybe work um, in the finance sector since um, my specialization is finance and controlling and um, the financial market is um, already very deregulated and liberal here so I guess it would be a great experience to, um, yeah, to participate um, in this development. Thank you. Hello India, hello everybody. <laughs> my name is Franz Bose. I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Business of Hof University in Bavaria and we are glad to be here in Gujarat. Oh, the experience of Gujarat is very, very good, it's very, very fine. Already if we arrived here at airport, the transport system inside the city was very, very easy and I think everything was uh, very fine because in former days I worked for the Bavarian government in the transport infrastructure area. And so I've, we con c could arrive very well here and co c Kent went in very, very easy with the, with the bus. And this was immediately from the beginning a very fine, a very good experience. Yes, uh, one and a half years ago I traveled for three weeks in India. For example, I stayed in Tamil Nadu, I stayed in Kerala, and I stayed also in Karnataka. And I saw several very big cities like uh, Bengaluru, Mangaluru, Mysore, Coimbatore, Delhi, um, and I also went to Shimla, but Shimla is different. <laughs> Shimla is not a big city. And so, uh, compared with Gujarat, let me say about Gujarat, I, my impression is that Gujarat, especially my interest, traffic infrastructure seem to be very, very well developed. I think roads are better. Your rapid bus system seems wonderful. I wish we can have such a perfect system like you have in Bavaria. It's so quick, it's so fast, and everything is very, very clean. And also, your people are very friendly to us, and car drivers, I think, are much more disciplined and much more silent compared with the other Indian cities. And I told it already to your, to uh, Moody Sahib that I have the feeling in my heart. I was born in Germany near the Swiss border, and. I think that Gujarat is a kind of Switzerland in Asia and in India. Uh, what is the feeling after meeting Chief Minister Kibra Sumedan Oh, it was a real deep uh, impression to see that father of nation, Gud Gujarat. Uh, for me, uh, um, he seemed to be very inspired, and my impression was that he had clear idea, ideas what is good for Gujarat, what is good for India, and also that's important. He also thinks about what is good for the whole world, for the whole human society. And I think he had his focus on the big subjects, energy, energy education, and health, and infrastructure. And I, f I think, I hope, and I believe that we will be, that we, that he can be a wonderful and very inspired Prime Minister for whole India. 